Welcome to Outdoor Kitchen TV. In this episode, we're gonna go ahead and finish off the cement board in the front here. We're gonna tape and thin set the seams of the cement board on the corners and uh, the uh, seams. And then we're gonna go ahead and install our cement board stucco. And then we're gonna install the appliances. Let's get started. Now with all the cutouts made, we'll go ahead and transport it back over to the island and screw it in. It's very important that when you're screwing it in that you put clamps around any delicate edges so that when you're screwing it doesn't break the cement board. It's that easy to do cement board. This is something any homeowner can do. We have it nice and flush on the outside corner here. The great thing about cement board is it's very forgiving. If you damage the cement board, you can always come back later and tape and thin set over the damage to repair it. So don't worry if you uh, screw too much or do something wrong. It's easily repaired. Now we're taking our thin set tape. It's alkaline resistant. Make sure you get the one for cement board. You wouldn't want to use the one for the wall board. And we're going to cover over our seams here on the corner and also the inside corner and also connecting over to the fireplace. So it all looked like one unit uh, with the fireplace. You have to cover all seams, countertop seams, uh, corners, everything uh, for stucco and tile jobs. Now if you're doing stone veneer, you could just go ahead and skip this and just put on your cornerstones pieces here. You wouldn't need this uh, thin set tape. It's very easy to do. It's self-adhesive. It sticks on here. You just got to make sure that your cement board is kind of clean, uh, dust-free. Clean the dust off first or the tape won't stick good. Then you go ahead and you take your thin-set mortar and you mix it up like this, this thick consistency. And you take a uh, plastic trowel or metal trowel and just spread a thin layer over that, that tape. Uh, the thin-set mortar that we're using is uh, from the hardware store. This one is a uh, standard thin set mortar. Cost us about 10 bucks. You just mix it with water. It's really easy to use. It's a gray color. When you're doing an inside corner, make sure you get it nice and uh, tight in there at a right angle. You don't want it uh, sticking out too far. Just like that, that's great. Okay, we have all of the screw heads covered with the uh, thin set mortar. We have the tape and seam on all the uh, corners and seams here. Now we'll go ahead and let that dry a little bit and we'll prepare for stucco. We'll go ahead, you'll remove any of these cement board labels. You wouldn't want to put stucco over that. And then you're going to um, take your high speed leaf blower or a, a rag and get all the dust off of this cement board so that the stucco will better adhere. Once you have all of that ready, make sure you've masked off the ground here because stucco would really stick to your patio and ruin it. It'll be a really nasty uh, mess. You've got to um, put something down here. We put down a, a tarp and cardboard, but it would really be even better to take um, that uh, paper, masking paper and tape and really mask this off very good underneath the edges of the island to be extra uh, perfect. So we'll go ahead and let that dry and come back and uh, go to the next step.
the tricks I've learned over the years is before I use my uh, adhesive, I like to go ahead and spray a fine mist of water onto the stuck onto the cement board. And what that does is that will help prevent the cement board from sucking all the moisture out of the stucco too fast. So just a light, just a light to be like this. And we're all set. Now we can go ahead and start with our adhesive. So we're using the Barbecue Coach Stucco Adhesive as a special formula that's going to provide a much stronger bond between the Barbecue Coach Stucco and the cement board. This is very important to get a professional results. Now we just quickly roll on one wall at a time here, the section that we can do our stucco on. Then we'll do the stucco on this one wall and then we'll continue to the next wall and we'll put glue on that one, this uh, Barbecue Coach adhesive and then we'll cover that with the cement board, uh, cement stucco. As he's putting it on here, he's pushing on it to push it onto the cement board. He has the trowel at a slight angle as he's pushing. If you're doing this job in the hot summer heat, it would be really a great idea to bring out an umbrella and position it over the job site so that way uh, it'll be easier for you to work and your stucco won't dry out as fast. So that's highly recommended. Either do it early in the morning or, or get some type of a shade like this umbrella. It makes a big difference. Okay, now we're going to take the plastic um, trowel here that has rounded corners and we're going to go over the cement, uh, the stucco here. You want to make sure you do this before it all dries out. That's why we have to do this wall here before we move on to the next one. You make little circles when you're doing this. What a beautiful surface we're getting here with the stucco. Now this is a special blend of barbecue coach stucco that we call Stony Creek uh, stucco. This is much more expensive than the regular white stucco that you have to paint. You can see that this has those little fine aggregates in the stucco, which really uh, increases the cost to manufacture this, but it's really a beautiful finish. It's something very unique. It's only available in this color we offer with the Barbecue Coach stucco. It's called Stony Creek. But most people, 90% of the people, uh, go with our Barbecue Coach white cement board stucco and then they just paint it a color to match their landscape. Have water nearby so that you can clean off your trowel. After we're done with this wall, then we'll move over to the next wall with the same system. We uh, paint on the barbecue coach adhesive, and then we do the stucco with the metal trowel, followed by this plastic trowel to smooth it out. If you're doing a large wall, you would want one man doing the metal trowel and a second man coming in behind him with the plastic trowel smoothing it out before it dries. This is a fairly small wall, so one man can handle this job here. But if you were doing a 16 foot long island here, you're definitely going to need two men. You can see all the 
base and it's dropped on the floor. Look at how beautiful that finish is after you go over with a plastic trowel. Really nice. Okay, in a matter of hours here, we've got our stucco finish completed and it looks really nice. So now we're ready for to install the appliances. For the grill, we'll go ahead and set it up here and we'll call our plumber to hook up the natural gas line. Uh, if we had electrical, we would have an electrician hook up the electrical items. Uh, for safety. It's always better to use a licensed contractor that specializes in this stuff so you can have good peace of mind. Now when we install our drawers and our doors we like to use an exterior clear caulk. Don't use white or some color. Use clear so no one can see it. And we'll put the caulking right around the trim here so that way when we push it into place there'll be a water uh, waterproof. Same with the sink and the drop-in ice chest. We'll put a, a nice thick bead of caulk around the edges here so that it's sealed off and water is not getting into our island. So that's how we're going to go ahead and install these appliances. When you buy doors and drawers, they don't come with the screws for you to install them. You're still going to have to buy your screws separately. Uh, we like to use the um, decking board screws, the Barbecue Coach decking board screws to um, sc uh, screw it into the framing here. Um, so you can do something like that. Also, if your cutout is too big, you can take some strips of cement board or you can take a longer screw with washers to shim your door into the frame. So there's a couple little tricks there that you can do as well. So let's go ahead and install our appliances and finish off our beautiful outdoor kitchen. Okay, we're going ahead and applying our uh, caulking. We're using a DAP product. It's called Window Door and Siding for Outdoors from DAP. They have good products for, um, for caulking. Make a nice thick bead so that way it's going to um, be good on your but not so much that it's going to come out onto your stucco. Don't overdo it. See? And try to stay in close to like that. There. See, now we'll go ahead and um, when we screw that on, the caulking will be in place. And make sure it's all the way around, all the way. And then these holes in the trim of the doors, that's where you're going to screw through. You can see that hole there. That's for screwing it in. Now, we'll go ahead and we'll insert this into the island. The nice thing about these Fire Magic Exelon doors is they have this extra trim on the top to help keep water out as well. So it's, that's really, really nice. And then we'll just put, push it on in. The stucco might be a little bit in the way, so you have a tighter fit than before. And then you'll go ahead and get your doors in there. You can have a snug fit like this, or it can be looser. As long as you can get your doors in there and they work properly. Once you have it in place, then you'll go ahead and screw it into the frame making sure that this is tight up against the stucco. Now we're using sharp point screws so those are a little bit harder to drill into the 18 gauge steel but it's going to hold better. Okay, after grinding some of that uh, cement away, we, we successfully dropped in our beautiful Somerset ice chest here. Now during construction, um, some cement splattered on top of our 
uh, drop in ice chest, our sink has got dirty, our drawers are dirty, and in a few minutes after we get this door and grill installed, we're going to use the new Barbecue Coach stainless steel cloth cleaners and make all of this stuff look brand new. We'll do that in, in just a minute. Now let's go ahead and get this door in and our grill in. Now that we have all our appliances in place, it's time to clean the stainless steel. There's no better product than this Barbecue Coach stainless steel cleaning wipes. Now this isn't like those other wipes on the market that's a cream that you wipe on that really doesn't work very well. This is a special tissue. It doesn't feel wet, but it's got special chemicals into it using a um, proprietary uh, formula. Now to come take a close look at how dirty this drop-in ice bin is, the stainless steel. And now watch what happens when I use this Barbecue Coach wipe. It's just taking all that dirt and grind off. I'll flip it over, use the front here. Look at this. The more I do it, the nicer it's starting to look. Just like brand new again. I've never seen a cleaner for stainless steel outdoor kitchens that works as good as this. And this bottle has quite a few of these in here, enough to last for a couple years. And every weekend or whenever you're having a barbecue uh, with your, your family and friends, you can come out here before they get here and clean off all your appliances and make everything look really nice for the party. Now look at that. And don't forget, this had mortar, concrete mortar spilled onto this item. It even gets the bird stains off. Look at that. Now that's incredible. Within seconds, I'm gone from a horrible looking item to brand, brand new. Brand new. Look at that. I really enjoyed this uh, project. It was a lot of fun. The system was very good. Um, we built that frame with the Pro system in one day with the cutouts. That was really nice. Then we came back, we installed our cement board and made our concrete countertops. Then we came back another time and did the grind and polish and we sealed the concrete counters. And uh, then we went ahead and installed the stucco and these beautiful appliances. The barbecue coach stucco saved us a lot of time by not installing metal lath or a, a, a base scratch coat. Being able to just take that and put that uh, Con that glue, that stucco adhesive on here with a paintbrush and put the stucco on enabled us to do a, a big job like this in half a day. So there is a lot of great advantages to using the barbecue coach system and you know that you've constructed something professional and uh, amazing. Tune in next time and we're going to show how to hook up the sink with shark bite plumbing that doesn't require um, a soldering iron. See you next week.